Called my shot yesterday, ended up only going one and two. Had two other plays end up as no action due to pitching changes. Still a 98-72-5 and five run here on the Power 5. And since it's Thursday, I'm going to have a free NFL selection for you coming up in just a bit. Cowboys taking on the Giants tonight. But first, before that, I've got four free winners in Major League Baseball to get to. As a reminder, go ahead and comment down below with your thoughts on these selections. Number one, Kansas City at Washington. This is a 105 Eastern start, so something to bet on this afternoon. Royals going for a three-game sweep here as they look to inch closer towards a wild-card berth in the American League. But I like the Nationals team total over three and a half uh, at plus money. Don't have to concern ourselves with Patrick Corbin, who could be starting for the very last time for the Nats. Now, I am fully aware of just how much trouble the Nats have had scoring runs in this series. They've been shut out each of the first two games. In fact, they've now gone 31 straight innings without scoring a run. That's three-plus games. Uh, that has to come to an end, right? And so does a 26-inning scoreless streak by the Royals pitching staff. Kansas City starter for Thursday, Michael Walkup, 3.68 ERA on the road compared to 2.89 at home. And I still do not really trust this Royals bullpen, which is bottom third in ERA. Five relievers used yesterday by KC. So the pen is pretty taxed coming into this afternoon. The Nats have got to start scoring again sooner rather than later. I think they can at least get four across the plate this afternoon. So again, Nationals team total over three and a half. Another daytime play for you. Number two, under eight and a half in Rangers A's. We cashed the under at seven and a half in last night's game between these teams on yesterday's show. So why not try again with an even larger number? Now, quite frankly, things were not looking good early for us last night because the Rangers led 5-1 after the top of the third. But the scoring then ceased for the remainder of the game. By the way, this afternoon will be the final game ever in Oakland, so let's pour one out for the Coliseum. Looking at the A's in this game, I think we're likely to get a better start from JT Jin than we did Brady Basso yesterday. Jin has allowed three earned runs or less in each of his last four starts then. On the other side, you got top prospect Kumar Rocker going for the Rangers. I think he dominates this A's lineup so far in seven big league innings. Rocker has allowed just five hits and has 12 strikeouts. Walks have been an issue, his only issue. But today, look for the last baseball game in Oakland to be low scoring. Let's now turn to the night slate with an over, over seven and a half Orioles, Yankees. Uh, guys, are the Yankees going to blow home field advantage in the American League? Their lead over Cleveland for the number one seed, down to half a game. Yanks lost again yesterday, 9-7. That was no action for us as Nestor Cortez, who was originally set to be the starter, got scratched. Now, Yankees and Orioles, these are two of the top five scoring teams in MLB. So a total of seven and a half just seems way too low for me. Even with Corbin Burns and Garrett Cole as the respective starting pitchers. Last time Cole started here at home, he allowed seven runs. Probably won't allow that many again tonight, but over the course of nine innings, I think these two lineups can combine for at least eight runs total. This is a 7.05 Eastern start. Oh, by the way, no, one more for you on this lovely Thursday in Major League Baseball. Play number four in the Power Five. It is the under eight and a half in Marlins Twins. Twins got a little lucky yesterday. They dropped the series opener to the Marlins uh, back on Tuesday. But, and then they fell behind 3 nothing in the top of the first last night. But they were able to then tie the game up after four and then exploded for five runs uh, in the bottom of the seventh to keep their fleeting playoff hopes alive. Twins still two back of both the Tigers and Royals for those two wildcard spots, those last two wildcard spots in the American League, I should say. But they've lost 20 of the last 31 games. That's why they're probably not going to make the playoffs. Again, certainly a bit fortunate were the Twins to score eight runs yesterday. They only had eight hits. They benefited from four Miami errors. And you look at this Marlins side, four, it's their fourth 100 plus loss season in franchise history. And they're the second lowest scoring road team in all of baseball. Under eight and a half, it is at 740 Eastern for me. Okay, I'm going to get to Thursday Night Football in just a bit. But first, a reminder about that great special we've currently got going for you right now at wagetalk.com. If you buy a three-month all-access pass, we'll throw in an additional fourth month of service free of charge. That's an instant $299 savings. So you're getting $120, or 100, pardon me, I said it again. I keep You're getting 120 days 
worth of plays at less than $49 per week and $7 per day. It's a massive savings. Just head on over to wt.buzz slash bp and subscribe today. I am number one in football this season at Wage Talk, hitting a combined 68% in NFL and college, 6-1 and one in NFL overall the last two weeks. I am a perfect 6-0 and oh with NFL sides this season. I also hit my first 5% CFB max bet of the season on Saturday with Texas Tech taking out Arizona State. Over the next 24 hours, I will have my complete Saturday college football and Sunday NFL cards finalized. Subscribers have already gotten some of those plays in addition to my $5 release from earlier in the week in CFB. It's going to be another big weekend, guys. So make sure you're on board at wt.buzz slash bp. Again, number one in football this season, combined 68% in NFL and college. Okay, let me give you something for Cowboys-Giants tonight on Amazon Prime. My gut says Dallas bounces back here after the back-to-back losses. The Giants, notwithstanding last week's win here in Cleveland, they're going to finish with one of the worst records in the entire league. I still believe that. Uh, I thought the market overreacted by reopening this number. Cowboys minus 4.5 on Sunday. Look, ahead line was Dallas minus 7. Public seems to have agreed with that sentiment. Cowboys back up to minus 5.5, even minus 6 at DraftKings as of this recording. Don't want to lay that number with Dallas, though, as the Juban are 12-3 and three ATS as dogs of 3.5 to 9.5 points under Dayball. The over's taking some money here as well. Not sure I agree with that. Let's just focus then on one player. One player, I think it's fair to say, will be a big part of this game, and that's Giants rookie wide receiver Malik Neighbors. He already is near the top of the league in targets. Daniel, he's the entire Giants offense, so Daniel Jones is going to be looking for him. Let's go over six and a half receptions for neighbors. Dallas has some injuries at cornerback, so they're going to struggle to cover him. And while the Cowboys are bad at stopping the run, the Giants can't run it. Again, it's going to be Jones looking for neighbors. That's the extent of the Giants offense. Neighbors are bust. He's likely to get a lot of catches in this one. So over six and a half receptions for the rookie. Let's now recap the power five for Thursday, shall we? Number one, Nationals, team total over three and a half. Number two, under eight and a half, Rangers A's. Those are both daytime games. Number three, over seven and a half, Orioles Yankees. Number four, under eight and a half, Marlins Twins. And then in the NFL game, Malik Neighbors over six and a half receptions. Feel free to leave any comments and or questions down below. Give me your thoughts on today's Power 5. Drop your favorite bets for Thursday as well down in the comments section here on YouTube. And if you could do me a favor, smash that like button. Would very much appreciate that. I always appreciate your support here on the Power 5 as we continue to dole out the free winners here on Wage Talk TV. Speaking of which, make sure you are subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel as not only do I have you covered daily with the Power 5, but every Monday through Friday, me and Mark Zinno doing the morning wager. That show's on a 16-5 and five run, the two of us. Uh, so check that out. All right, that does it for the Thursday edition of the Power 5. Until next time, guys, let's cash some tickets.